Man, these Pokemon vending machines look so cool. There's none of them in California though. Let's see. The closest one is in Portland. That's not too far. Let's go get on a plane. What's happening, Polge Pals? We just landed here in Oregon. I can't believe I flew to another state to look for Pokemon cards. We're gonna go to some of the Fred Meyer stores and see if we can find the Pokemon vending machines. Hopefully we'll find some full ones, and if not, we'll check a few other stores too. Either way, we're gonna find some cards, and at the end, we'll bring them all back to California and open them up. So let's go check the first one. All right guys, this thing is stacked. It's full of Chilling Rain single packs. There's some Chilling Rain ETBs in there. We've got Shining Fates mini tins, Battle Styles ETBs. What else we got? Battle Styles booster boxes, Vivid Voltage booster boxes. We've got the tins. Not sure which tins it's gonna be. Don't know if there's Evo inside of there. We've got the old collection tins and the V power tins and some Chilling Rain booster boxes. All right. We've got to grab at least a couple of things out of this one. Let's see. All right, and wouldn't you know it, this one is broken. So the probably the only reason that all of these mini tins and the ETBs are still in here, especially these old collection tins, are because this machine is broken. So we're gonna try to get someone out here to fix it while we're here in town for a little bit. But we're also gonna check some more stores. Let's go. All right, we're at another Fred Meyer. Hopefully this one will have a working machine or maybe some hacks on the shelf. Let's go inside and see what they've got. All right, this one works. And of course it works because there's only battle styles left in that. So we can't buy any of that. Let's see if there's any other packs in the rest of the store. All right, so they didn't have any cards in the rest of the store. And as you saw, they only had battle styles in the vending machine. We're definitely not gonna buy any of that. But my, gr my girlfriend found the Squishmallows that she was after. So at least we found some stuff today. Let's check a few more stores. Okay, Old Faithful Walgreens. Let's see what they got. All right, it looks like they only have these little mystery repacks, the one mystery product that you should never, ever buy. Let's keep looking around. Maybe Best Buy? Let's go see what they've got. Not even the Best Buy. It looks like they've got one Inteleon League Battle Deck and a First Partner Binder and some of the little Eevees, but we gotta be able to find some cards somewhere in this state. Let's keep looking. All right, we got another Fred Meyer. Let's go inside, see if they have anything. All right, maybe we're getting closer. Maybe we're getting closer. I've actually got the super deluxe handbook. They've got the collector's book. But let's see if we can find some cards. Let's keep looking. 
All right, so it looks like we found where they keep the cards and they've only got these little books here. Pretty interesting so far that even the basic things that I find kind of everywhere in California, the chilling rain, battle styles and stuff like that is sold out everywhere here in Oregon, but we're gonna try one more store. All right, you know we have to stop and get some lunch or something while we're out looking for cards. So we stopped by and grabbed some bagel sandwiches. Let's keep searching. All right, this is the last day of our trip. We are at the first Fred Meyers we went to that we found the first machine at. That one was broken, but it had some awesome stuff inside. Now I called the number on it and they said usually every four days they check the machines and try to service them. So hopefully something's happened since we've been here last. Let's go inside and see if anything has changed, let's go. All right, it's actually fixed. And of course, because it's fixed, all of the good stuff is gone. I was really hoping to get one of those little collector chests. Those are at really a ridiculous price online right now, but it looks like there's some Rebel Clash left, some Battle Styles, some Vivid Voltage, but this machine wants 140 for the Vivid Voltage. And you see that online everywhere for about 110 to 120. So we're gonna pass on that. We'll just grab one of these little Shiny Fates mini tins and We'll grab uh, maybe one of these uh, Eternatus tins here. Let's see. How about this Reshiram tin? And then maybe get should we get one of the ETVs or just some single packs of the chilling rain you know what let's get one more ETV why not we came all the way out here Let's take all of these back to California and open them up. All right, putting these boxes into my bag, hopefully TSA doesn't open them. I don't see why they would, but if for some reason we open the bag up and they've cut the cellophane, 
I guess we know why, right? Let's fly all the way back to California. All right, guys, we made it back. All of the packs made it through TSA without getting opened. I don't know why I thought they would open them, but I don't know. We made it back. It was such an amazing trip. I was a little nervous that first day, thinking that all the machines were gonna be broken, but on the last day, the first machine was fixed, and we were able to find this Chilling Rain ETB, this Shining Fates tin, and one pack of Chilling Rain. I'll explain why I bought only these things when we start opening them, but thank you so much much already if you made it this far the channel's on the road to 7k so if you haven't already drop a like drop a sub let's rip into all this and find out if those vending machines have any fire in them all right, let's start off with this first little chilling rain pack here. Now it comes in this really cool little box that comes out of the machines. I've seen some photos of single packs in the machine like this, but usually they're in like the full pack sleeve. So I thought it was kind of interesting and cool that it's just by itself in this box right here. And the reason that I went with the ETB, what am I dropping? Oh no, I dropped the Charizard pin. The reason that I went with the ETB and just a single pack here is those machines are kind of notorious for breaking like in between an order or while the arm is moving. So it might have been better pull rates to get eight single packs than to go with a full ETB, but I didn't want the arm to break while it was trying to do that eight times. There's also limits on the machines. You can make, oh, that just, that opened real easy. You can only make uh, per three purchases at a time and you can only make 11 purchases on one card. Now I'm not exactly sure uh, when it locks you out or for how long it locks you out, but I was happy just with the three things I got. Let's do this pack, right? Electric Energy, Lydian, Old Cemetery, I really love that card, Impact Energy, Coughing, Delibird bringing us some gifts, some pulls, Porygon, Heracross, our reverse is a Gardevoir. Can we go first pack magic from the organ vending machines? I guess technically we got a hit right off the bat. We got a Cabalion Hollow right here. We're gonna put this right onto the pull pile. I'll show you the code card here, bam. I feel like I've been pulling a lot more hollows than anything else out of Chilling Rain lately. Let's save the Shining Fates for the end. I've also got one more mini tin here that I've had from California, because I just, I don't know. I can't give up on Shining Fates. I gotta finish that binder. So let's get into this ETB. Now, in the video there, when I was there, I was saying like, oh, let's get this Eternatus tin. And I thought about it. I looked at the packs that were most likely inside because that little picture that they show you isn't always accurate. I looked at the packs and I thought, you know, it's 25 bucks. Like, I know I came all the way up here, but Evolving Skies is on the way. We've got celebrations coming in October. I don't really need to just like panic buy a tin with just like some random packs in it like that just because I'm seeing it there. I know that we go through so many days of empty shelves and so much store searching. And when you finally do something, find, finally do find something like that or see things at all, you want to just buy it all up. But for me, I'm really trying to get better about focusing on the pulls that I want and focusing on the sets that I want to finish and just buying that stuff and not buying every single thing that I see there on the shelf. All right, let's get into this ETB. And I don't mean that at all to be preachy. Like, you know, it's your money. You can do absolutely whatever you want with it. If you see some old tins and they're not really your favorite, but you just want to go home with some packs that day, do it, buy them up. Definitely not telling you not to do that. Here's the code from the ETB. You're gonna get typical ETB. We got some sleeves, we got some little dividers, we got some damage counters and some condition markers and eight packs. Let's just make sure one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Was that hair in there? Eight, eight packs of cards. Gotta make sure, I've heard a lot of stories and you guys have been telling me in the comments that you've opened some Chilling Rain ETBs and there's only like six packs inside or something like that. That's crazy. I think Pokemon ended up making that right for you though, whoever that was out there. Show you the codes at the end here. What a fun trip though. I mean, I, first of all, I don't fly very well. 
If you guys have ever been to a show at the Catalyst in Santa Cruz, you know those balconies that are up on either side? Well, years ago there at a show, somebody dropped uh, like a glass cup off of it and it hit me in the back of the head. And it, like, it really didn't even hurt that much. Like I felt fine. Like I stayed for the rest of the show. Me and my friends went home that night. Oh, here we go. Rapid strike, scroll of the skies. First hit. Ooh, non-hollow venipede. Not, venipede doesn't go on the pool pile. Went home that night, felt totally fine. Next day, went to go ride the Ferris wheel at the boardwalk. Or not, yeah, no, not the Ferris wheel, the Big Dipper at the boardwalk. And I've been on that like a million times before in my life and I've never had a problem with it, never gotten dizzy, anything like that. And as soon as the ride started, I was so dizzy. So long story short, I ended up with like a little head injury. And after a while now, I've gotten better at flying. So I was a little nervous to fly, but this time actually went really, really well. I just kind of sat there and closed my eyes the whole time and made it through it. Here we go. Ralts, welcoming lantern. Let's welcome some poles from this ETV. There we go. Tornadoes V. My first Tornadoes V from Chillin' Rain. Look at that. Bam. Got some awesome centering. We're going to drop this guy into his sleeve. All right. Filling up that Chillin' Rain binder, even though it seems like such a daunting task. There are so many secret rares and just pulls in general that you need to finish this set. Not sure if that's one that I, I will ever really finish, if I'll pull them all, or if I'll have to buy some singles online to finish it. Electric Energy, here we go. Ragged Helmet, Crabomitable. Doctor, got Crib Brawler, we're evolving. Weedle, we got Cast Form, Regular Form, Quillfish. Gallade for our reverse and non hollow slur puff for our rare. That's a green code. All right. I'm feeling lucky though on this ETB. I'm feeling the pokey shake a little bit. But yeah, I guess when I was leaving the vending machine, I thought, oh man, should I have gotten an EV tin and everything? Should I have gotten, you know, a turn in this tin? And I just thought, you know, no, I know I came all the way up here and stuff, but the trip wasn't just for that. Uh, we got some family up there and we were able to visit some people. So it wasn't just for Pokemon, but I just kind of had to remind myself like a lot of good sets are coming. You don't need every single thing that you see on the show. Passimian for our reverse and oh, a non hollow sauce buck. But also, I don't know why I'm repeating myself, not telling you what to do. Do what you want to do. It's your money. You work really, really hard for it. Here we go. We got, uh, this is four packs left here. Four to the front, but real quick, do you see like the edges of all of these are kind of like, like pushed up? Like there's just like a little bit of edge damage there. Let's see, Let's see if this is the one. Darkness Energy, Lydian, Peonia, Honey, Ralts, Heracross, Cast Form, Sunny Form, Sveal, Hactina, Go Lurk for our reverse, Chilling Rain ETB. Can we get another hit? Oh, it's a Porygon Z Hollow. Still really cool. I think the artwork on this is really awesome and has kind of like a an old school vibe to me for some reason. I don't know what it is. Here we go, code card. But look, like I'm saying, pulling mostly hollows. Mostly hollows lately. Mostly hollows out of the ETBs as well. We got three packs left, counting this one, and then we'll get into that Shining Fates. How crazy would it be to finish some of the Shining Fates pulls that I need from my binder all the way from Oregon? Here we go, Rock Ruff. Rudy Ruff, there you go, that card's for you. Ladyba, we got Porygon, Swirlix. All right, Malamar for our reverse. Pretty cool looking artwork on that Malamar too. And, ooh, non hollow for our rare. There is the green code for you. And it all comes down to these two packs. So, so far we've had two hollows out of this one. No, just one hollow, one Tornadus V pull so far out of here. Will these last two packs be hiding some fire? We will find out. Four to the front. Here we go. Metal Energy. Flaffy. Path to the Peak. Oops. Lydian. We got Sobble. Furfro. Diglett. Larvista, Inke, 
Raboot for our reverse and non hollow Ampharos for our rare. That means it all comes down to you, Shadow Rider Calyrex pack. Last pack from the ETV, all the way from the vending machines in Oregon. Like I was saying though, I'm just so happy that I got to experience those and see a working one. Uh, it just, it's so cool. Living here in California, we don't have any of those. And if we did, I'm sure they would be mobbed by scalpers every day, but still very, very awesome to see that. All right, let's see if we can last pack magic, at least a hollow or something better. All right, psychic energy. Larry on. We got Expedition Uniform, Old Cemetery, Ralts, Cast Form, Sunny Form. We've got Sveal, Hatina, Rock Rough, Rudy Rough. There you go again, buddy. We've got Weezing for our reverse, Chilling Rain, Ice Rider, ETB, all the way from Oregon. Can we go Last Pack Magic? Hey, there we go. We pulled the Shadow Rider out of the Shadow Rider pack, even though it was in the Ice Rider ETB. Not that that matters, but very cool. At least we got a couple of hits out of this ETB. Let's drop the Shadow Rider into a sleeve. I saw the border of it and I thought it was glowing just a little more, like maybe a VMAX or something, but at least we got one more. Bam, there's the code card for you. A very bent little code card there. Did not, did not make it. All right. It boils down to this Shining Fates mini tin, but like I said, I got one more that I want to open here. I don't know why, I haven't opened a lot of Reshiram ones yet, so I'm opening the Reshiram ones. I was going to get the Celebi one, but in the machine, it had the Celebi one labeled as the Venusaur theme deck, and I really didn't want to accidentally end up... Is this stuck in here? There we go. Really didn't want to end up with a Venusaur theme deck. Trying to like not cut my fingers on this plastic. There we go. So I went with the Rush Ram. Where did the Charizard pin go? Here we go. All right, let's cut this bad boy open with our Lucky Zard pin. One of these days it's gonna be lucky. Don't even know how many packs of Shining Fates I've opened at this point, but here we go again. Really awesome Blastoise coin in there. That's very cool. We got the little Reshiram card with the artwork. Dragapult and Charizard pack artwork. For a second, it felt like that was open. All right, here we go. Very, whoa, yeah, very loose packs here from the mini tin. Let's open this guy up. And here is the code for you. All gonna be white codes from Shining Fates. So I'll show that at the front. And we've got electric energy. Shock me with some pulls today. These jokes are so bad, and you guys never call me out for how bad my jokes are. So definitely appreciate that. More Pekka Pico, Yama, we got Choodle, Luxio taking up our first shiny spot. Can we go for one of the trainers? I'm missing a Skyla and a Ball Guy. Ooh, non holo Dreadnought. We got Dreadnought. All right. Technically, last pack from Oregon. Charizard pack artwork from the mini tin. Can we go last pack magic on any kind of shiny hit? Bam. I say bam too much. Four to the front. Somebody tell me in one of these episodes. Somebody count. How many times do I say bam? All right. Fighting energy. I won't make the fighting joke. Gym trainer. Team Yeltal. Float Zool. Horsey. Cufont. Chutal. Yanma, more Pekka Pico, more Pekko. Galarian Weezing in our shiny spot. That means we got one chance left for a ball guy or Skyla or anything in general would be awesome. Indeedy Hollow. All right, Oregon. So I'm very happy that I was able to find some stuff. We had some cool pulls too. Let's just open two more packs from California here and see if this little tin can add another hit or two to the pull pile today. And then I'm gonna go sleep for like an entire day because that was a long trip. Another awesome Blastoise coin, bam. Put you over here. And we got the Toxtricity and the Dragapult pack artwork. Here we go. Dragapult, you're going first. These packs are not as loose. Wonder what's up with that. All right. Rowlet on the front there. There's the code for you. Cover up that Rowlet with these four from the back. There we go. Fighting Energy, Dartrix, Cramorant, 
Rusted Shield. Is Cramorant still really good in Unite? I haven't been playing for the last week that I've been gone. Spinarak, Snow, Grookey. Oh, oh, there we go. Shiny Thievil saving the day with the California pack with at least one shiny pull. Can we double it up? Non hollow Volcanion. But there we go. Just pulled Thievil a little bit ago on the channel. So this will go into the trade pile. Now I plan on opening probably a little bit more Shining Fates here and there over the next few weeks until we get into Evolving Skies. So once that happens over on my Instagram at Pokepulch, I'll put up a list of cards that I'm looking to trade. And I can't promise everybody that will be able to make a trade, but there should be some good trades there. All right, here we go. Doxtricity pack artwork. You know what they say. Let's rip this guy open. Bam, and we've got the code card four to the front. Let's take a look at what could potentially be one of our rares here. Looking good, little edge damage there already. Psychic energy, like a bubble in the card. What is happening today? Dartrix, Eldegoss, Luxio, Eevee, Boozle, Yanma, Trap Inch, Nickit. Oh, Q-Font. In our shiny spot, that means we got one more chance for a hit. Can we go last pack magic on shiny fates? Oh, it's a non hollow Zarud, but that's okay. I had such a blast on this journey. So as always, Polge Pals, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, drop a sub. I post a new one every Wednesday and every Saturday, but until then, be safe, have fun, keep collecting, and I'll see you in these next videos.